Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh. Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of Making Gains. Today's episode is, uh, is day 350, which is crazy. But it's also the day that I finally get this little one bedroom apartment to myself. Now, I don't know what the title of this video is going to be, but I think it's going to be something along the lines of it's not ideal, but it'll do for now. And that is really how it is, to be honest. Like, so what happened, it's been, it's been about two weeks since I moved out of my place. Uh, I was living with a flatmate Dom and his girlfriend and his child for the last three weeks which was pretty fucking hectic but anyway they ended up getting this one bedroom apartment and I didn't get anything sorted in time um, but I did that because of the fact that I knew if I got through these first two weeks Dom and his his family basically his girlfriend and, and kid were uh, going on a six week holiday to England and you know we could help each other out if I, if, if I wanted to stay in this unit, I could pay them a cheaper rate of rent, um, basically house sit for them until they got back. It would, you know, supply me with somewhere to stay and it would help them out paying some of their rent and also making sure the place didn't get broken into. So that's exactly what's happened. Now today is Saturday. They've headed off uh, last night to Darwin and then on to fucking Bangkok and then on to uh, London. So with that being said, now I have an opportunity to finally show you guys around my humble abode for the next four to five weeks. So here we go. So guys, here we are. It's a one bedroom unit. We've got the kitchen, we've got the lounge room, we've got the bedroom, and the bathroom is around that way. But anyways, first off, this kitchen, they must have actually had the same builders that did my place because it's got the exact same fixtures and fittings. And to be honest, for a one bedroom unit, it's a pretty decent kitchen. So I'm not complaining about that. We've got the fridge, which is mine. We've got the water cooler, which is mine. We've got the <laughs> bin, which is mine. We've got the fucking washing basket, which is mine. And basically all my shit is in that corner because all of Dom's stuff and everything is in the only cupboard we've got for storage, which is right there. And there's a cot there, which, <laughs> which I've fucking packed full of all the other shit that they left lying around. So anyways, five weeks, I've got this place to myself. We've got the kitchen. That's where I was sleeping down on the ground, uh, which is a pretty sad state of affairs. And honestly, guys, you know what? Right now, I'm going to change that around. We're going to, uh, we're going to do a bit of redecorating here. And, uh, because I won't be sleeping on the ground anymore. So let's move that mattress quickly. Okay, so just quickly I just want to say thanks to my sister for loaning me the mattress and thanks again to my sister for letting me sleep on your couch but yeah it's, it's got to go unfortunately it's just got to go so with that said we'll come through into the, uh, the bedroom I honestly don't have much to show you here it's just a bed that's not made as well as a cot full of clothes and a few bags of mine bathroom you know, what do you need to see in here? It's actually not a bad bathroom, actually. Shower, shower head's decent, look at that. That's pretty cool. And um, there's me, <laughs> as you guys know. And then we shall come out the back. Now, the backyard is debatable, honestly. It's bigger, there's more space outside than there is inside. I don't know what they're playing at, but uh, Here's the backyard, it goes all the way down there. I'll probably be able to bring my car in the end if I wanted to, but we haven't done that yet. So outside we've got a shed, we've got my freezer, we've got some more shit of theirs, and <laughs> we've got some weights. I was going to do some bicep curls this morning, but that never happened. And uh, yeah, once again we've got an absolute stunner of a day. But you guys will be, be used to that by now, wouldn't you? Absolutely beautiful. So, so that is pretty much that, guys. Honestly, I don't, I don't have a lot else to say, to be fair. But you know, like the title suggests, um, it's not ideal, but you know, it'll do. And in fact, if 
I had this place all to myself and I was going to live here permanently, then it would be fine. It would be perfect. But the fact is, I've only got five weeks. So, uh, we have to think of something else pretty quickly. God, if I think this five weeks for me is going to go fast, um, spare a thought for my mate Dom who's away on holiday, because five week holiday seems like a fucking lifetime now, but, you know, we all know how fast holidays um, go. But uh, anyways guys, um, for those of you who saw my physique update last night, uh, I was pretty... God, you know what? It's just so hard to convey what you actually look like on a fucking video. Like, even, even if, I, if I put my camera down here, like on this level, as opposed to up here, it makes me look totally different. Like, I, I've, I've basically worked out that I need my camera or my lens to be basically about chest height and be, you know, straight, going straight onto me a full body shot that's going to give me in the best perspective and it's going to give me the most lifelike perspective rather than being skewed by the camera being too low or being too high I think chest height is absolutely perfect with that being said you know sometimes you can't get it chest height and as well as that the fucking lighting oh my god like if if you're not naturally if you're not under natural light like sunlight or really bright light like this uh, you got no hope of getting a crisp a crisp fucking line especially if you're trying to do it on a video and you know the subject is a few meters away um, the crisp lines are so hard to get so you know I don't know how it looked uh, I probably I look a bit bigger than what I did in my my previous physique update of course because I have filled out but you know I still wasn't able to convey exactly how I look and so you know I guess you guys still don't know exactly how I look but I'll be using this camera again. I'm back on my old camera. My, my, I'm back on my, my good camera. Um, I think I've, I've sorted out this fucking autofocus thing, to be honest. I had, it, I had it on the setting that used like 45 points of fucking autofocus over the whole, the whole screen, whereas right now I'm just using one, one point. So, one point of, um, of autofocus, which is right on my face. So we shouldn't have too many of those fucking autofocus noise issues anymore. Which is exciting. The only thing I've got to work out is why, why my lens keeps blacking out every now and then. It just goes boom, and then goes black, and then eventually like the, the colour starts fading in, and then it's back on me again, and then it will go black, and then it will start fading in. It's like... I don't know, it's like a short circuit, so I don't know what the fuck's happening. But if you guys know, let me know, because I still haven't done any bloody tutorials on this fucking camera. So, I was close to selling it, honestly. I get in these moods, I'm like, if I can't work something else, if I can't work something out and it pisses me off, I start getting in these moods where I want to sell something. I just want to get rid of it or fucking move on to the next one. I'm glad I haven't sold this camera. It's a fucking, it's a really nice camera. I know I'm capable of some special stuff on it. I just need to find out how. So, anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a meal now, and um, well, I'm not gonna make it actually. I'm still having these core meals, core nutri core foods, core power foods. Sorry, which um, I use throughout my cut to keep me on track. But I'm still using them because um, they're always a good, they're always a good source of uh, protein. You know, 40, 50, even 55 grams of protein per serve. Minimal fats and just a few carbs from whole sort, from from good sources. So whether I'm whether I'm bulking or cutting, um, these meals are pretty pretty staple in my diet. This one in particular is is my favourite. Holy meatballs! It's it's fucking delicious. It's beef meatballs with tomato sauce. It's literally like it's like. Um, what do you call it? Spaghetti bolognese. It's like spaghetti bolognese, but it's with whole wholemeal uh, penne pasta. And um, you know, when you're hungry, and when you're dieting, and you have really nice food like this, um, that's so easy. You stick it in the microwave for five minutes, you get it out. It's uh, it's a real help. And you know, one of these days, I hope to be a sponsored athlete by a food company that I can. Uh, really get behind and really try and promote and use of course because that's the main thing you know I'm never going to get sponsored by something I don't fucking use so anyways I'm going to get this in the microwave and um, I hope you guys are doing well 
uh, this is this is the place, man. This is where I'm going to be living for the next five, six weeks. So if any videos I put out from now on, they're going to be based around here, of course. What the fuck just happened then? What just, that was it. Okay, if you just saw that, what the hell just happened? Let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.